Hey guys, it's Amelia, in today's video I'm going to show you how to put prices on mobile, but before I do that, make sure to like this video and subscribe and turn on notifications. So, as you can probably guess, I'm going to show you how to put the prices on, as you can tell, your prices are here, and Game Pass ID, and that usual funky stuff, and I'll be showing you guys how to do that on mobile, alright, okay, that's back on. Alright, so we're going to go to mobile mode. Alright, so we're on my mobile device, which is an Apple device, and so what you're going to do is open up your browser, or whatever you use, that may be Google or whatever. For me, it's Safari, so we're gonna go to Safari and we have Google opened up. And all we're gonna do is go to the Roblox website. So we're gonna type Roblox and make sure you have the actual Roblox site, not a fake site, because if you do, they're gonna steal your information and you wouldn't want to lose your account. So I'm gonna log into my alt now and I'll see you guys when I'm logged in. Okay, so we're logged into my account and yes, it has a different username because this is an alt account. I don't really use it but it has friends and it played some games, okay? So what we're gonna do is click on the create tab and you're hit with the screen saying make anything you can imagine with our free and immersive creation engine and it basically shows nothing. Like when you scroll through it, you can't do anything on it. And even if we try to bypass this system by going into our inventory, and literally scrolling down to places and clicking create by me and everyone has this basic roblox starter place we go into store i have this game pass i made called kit when i was making it earlier but it's irrelevant but if you click create pass as you can tell it's the same thing you can't do anything unfortunately and so i'll show you how to make a game pass on the computer and add it to mobile Alright guys, so we are on Roblox on the computer, as you can tell, standard computer layout and everything. So all you're going to do is go to create, and for you, if you haven't created anything on Roblox, you might get a screen that looks like this. You're going to get this make anything you can imagine, just click manage my experiences, and you'll be able to have the same page I did just a moment ago. So what you're going to do is go into your places tab and click on your place and then just click store and then you're going to add a pass and what you're going to do here is that you're going to have to choose an image for the game pass name it and if you want to you can put a description but you don't have to so i'm going to put an image on and you're going to see this box that's black because those are my computer files and i don't need you guys seeing that okay so for the game pass i selected this drawing of myself and we are gonna name the game pass by me. We can name it anything you want or whatever. You can choose the name, whatever you want it. I'm just gonna name it a name not to confuse you with numbers or anything. So we're gonna preview it. And the image is pending because it's not a common image that's on the Roblox system. If you use an anime character, it's gonna instantly appear or something like that. So we've got the by me and what you're gonna do is go into settings here and configure it. And then you're gonna go to the sales tab click item for sale and then you can price it whatever you want to price it I'm gonna price it for 50 I guess that's what I just like to do you can do it higher or lower and it's gonna be successfully saved once you click the save button go back to details and you're granted with the buy me pass and on your URL this works on any browser it's gonna be like HTTPS whatever roblox.com game pass and then you're gonna copy the long digit here and that's it and we're actually gonna go back to mobile mode so i can show you how to copy it on mobile and whatever so yeah all right so we are back on mobile and we are gonna go to our inventory and we're gonna scroll down to our places created by me and we're gonna click on our standard starter place and we're gonna go to store and as you can see the new buy me game pass is added there and yes i have this weird preference of adding my own art as the game passes yes i drew these okay so we're gonna click on the buy me and just like on the computer we have the search on top of our thing or the url mine is black but yours might be white or some other color so we're gonna tap on it and as usual we have the https roblox game pass the number and then the name of the thing of buy me so we're gonna highlight the number here and we are gonna copy it 
And now we're gonna go to the Roblox app, and we're gonna go play Starving Artist, or search it if you've never played it before. And we're gonna play, and we're gonna load into the game. And I hate it, loading slow, oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna agree to the rules, and we're gonna go claim a booth. So we just claimed it, and uh, I have no idea what's going on here, but we're gonna add a drawing, and we're just gonna paste the ID into the game pass there. Enter, and it says select price 50 Robux, and we tap done. And there you go, the drawing is sold for 50 Robux now, or whatever price you desire to put it at. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to go out of game and back to your browser to copy IDs unless you're like me who has this funny slidey thing where I can literally just pull out Safari or if you don't know to do that we can drag it out and tap it and we're just gonna press cancel and we're gonna go back and I can select my other game pass the kit game pass and uh, it's kind of hard to copy it and we're just gonna scroll over and copy the ID there and we copy it and then we can put up another drawing for 10 robux and there you go guys i hope you guys found this video helpful it may not be exactly what you're looking for because roblox unfortunately does not allow you to upload shirts on mobile which sucks or anything in general but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications and i'll see you guys next time goodbye